The 7th China Pekin Opera Festival has come to an end in Tianjin in northern China. Sponsored by the Ministry of Culture, the event aims to popularize one of China's biggest and most unique cultural treasures. Let's begin our show today with a look at how the festival wrapped up. The 7th China Peking Opera Festival came to a close with a new show, Emperor Kangxi, which got rapturous applause from the audience. Over the past 12 days, 57 shows were presented by 33 troops from around the country. Most were recent productions, but there were also some classics. Tickets this year were sold at lower prices to encourage more people to attend. And for the first time in the event's history, the Peking Opera competition was dropped, a move by organizers to focus more on the art itself. In its place, a special panel of experts and artists were invited to discuss the traditional art. Peking Opera stretches back more than two centuries. It's a combination of theatrical disciplines, including music, dance, acrobatics and costumes. And it's widely regarded as a symbolic expression of Chinese culture. But like many of China's traditional art forms, Peking Opera is losing its audience as a global culture takes hold. Organizers hope events like these can at least partially revive interest in this unique performance art. Matt Stuttard, CCTV.